Okay. What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. But check this out. Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys. Hey, listen, this is a highly requested video, just how to like cut, clean, prepare, and cook some, you know, Southern style, you know, collard greens. Listen, I live in a big city. Listen, we got regulations out here in California. You can't take nothing dirty inside of a grocery store in no way. So they've been clean, washed, you know, and then done thoroughly there. And then when they set them out, you know, for us to go through, you know, things like that, they've already been, you know, washed. So listen, we get them and I'm gonna show you the process that I do. But again, I didn't pick these out of the, uh, I didn't pick them out of a garden or nothing like that. But anyway, I'm getting ready to show you guys the ingredients. Then we're gonna go right in here. We're gonna wash them. We're gonna cut them, prep them. I'm gonna show you how to roll them up, cut them. Super easy. Not gonna over talk it no more. Hey, let's get right into this video. Okay, we finna go over the ingredients and don't forget, every time I pick up an ingredient, if it's an onion, you know, it's gonna have the name on there, you know, whether it's gonna be diced and then the quantity, you know, like if it's gonna be one cup or whatever. So don't forget, check the description box below. So let's get started. Now, I'm gonna start off right here. We got these uh, red, you know, chili uh, pepper flakes. This right here, this is just one teaspoon. This is up to you, it depends on how hot you want it. You can go up to a tablespoon. For me, this gives me like the perfect, this is what I'm looking for right here. Just enough to have a little bite to let me know that, you know, it's got a little spice to it. Then we got three garlic cloves. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, dice these up. Right here, I'm gonna show you, look, these are like some, these are more on the smaller size, but this right here is that smoked turkey. I got another one right here. This is probably what you guys are more used to seeing, something like this size right here. But for the amount that I'm making, you know, today, this right here do just fine. This right here is optional. This right here is just distilled white vinegar. We got salt, pepper, chicken stock. Remember, if you guys have been following me for a minute, you know, usually when I mention uh, anything to take water, you'll see that I did them in the crock pot. I did it with water. You can substitute the water with, uh, with chicken stock. But here we going with the chicken stock because we making them Southern style right here. And then right here, I just got what? Five bundles of uh, collard greens. Now, okay, now what we're doing is I'm setting up a station. Obviously, you see I got a double uh, sink. I put cold water on one side, and then as before I put the actual collard in there, what I'm doing is I'm rinsing them. Now, I want you guys to take a look. You see that black right there? That's an impurity. You know, uh, I don't try to like cut that out or nothing like that. I just get rid of it. Cause listen, we gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of leafy, you know, collard green anyway. So we just put that off to the side. Now you see me just adding salt, you know what, just like three generous pinches. And then I'm gonna put some uh, distilled vinegar in there. Now listen, this is more so for like the people that get theirs out of the, uh, the garden and grow them themselves, you know, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how my grandmama did hers. And I just move it around. Be careful so you don't tear up the leaves, you know, and you just wanna mix the water with your vinegar and your salt. Okay, look, now that I got them, you know, they soaked a little bit. What I'm gonna do is, listen, I look at them, you know, I run my hand across them, then I'm gonna rinse them with fresh water. We're gonna rinse them. We're gonna let them sit in this side of the sink, you know, as we prepare everything else. So, now, just grab them. You can look, you can see it's nice and clean. I just usually run my hand across it like that. Cold water, give it a rinse, drop it. Then what you wanna do is you just wanna repeat. And another thing I wanna cover, listen, we gotta be careful with them. I'm heavy handed. You know, you gotta treat them, you know, delicately. Delicately, they, you know, they're, that's a leafy uh, green. You don't wanna tear them up. And then you just wanna rinse them and then we move on to the next step. Okay, what I did was I went ahead and diced up my onion. Listen, this is like a half of the onion. You know, just diced it up. And I got it, all my ingredients laid out. I'll open this in just one second, but right now we are getting ready to prepare these uh, greens. Let's cut them. Now, I'm gonna show you, this is real easy. We wanna get rid of this, this main vein right here. Listen, it's not gonna, I mean, I guess if you cooked it long enough, it'll render down. But look, nobody eats that. So what we are gonna do is we just gonna cut it. Look, this part right here is real simple. Just take it like this. Once you get rid of this, you can see, listen. Then we're just gonna set that off to the side and we're gonna repeat that process. Let me grab another one, grab it here. Real easy, you guys, just come across. Just trace it, remove it, and then we're done. 
And then what I do is, listen, I'm gonna just show you this way. We take it like this, and we just wanna keep stacking it on top. It's gonna be a reason, but you just wanna stack it. Remember, the main vein is gone. Just stack it like this, and then we're gonna continue on, and it's gonna all make sense in just one second. Now look, I'm gonna take these. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look, this is real easy. The reason I tell you to stack them this way, this is gonna be the easiest way. You just wanna take them like this, look. Just as if you was rolling up, I guess I would say it like a cigar or something. Just take it, and we're gonna just roll it like this. Right? Real easy. We'll start on this end right here. Real easy. Now you just wanna cut them like this. There you go. You guys got it? Look, super easy. We just go like this. And this right here on the end. You can be creative. <laughs> you could just cut it like that. And there you have it. It's that easy, you guys. Look, they come in, they come up like this. That's up to you. Some people might want to even cut this in half. I'm gonna do one like that just to show you, but don't forget it's gonna render down. So if you do that, then you, this is what you're left with. But I think when it render, it'll be a little small. So I like them like this, easy. Look, we're gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of the greens, but now you guys got it. Super easy, it's really nothing to talk about. Just once you guys see it, you got it. You come up with your own method, how you wanna streamline your own process. So let me go ahead, let me get the rest of them over here. Let me get the, uh, the veins removed. Then we're gonna move over to the next step. Now we're getting ready to start cooking. So, hey, just stay with me and uh, let's make it happen. All right, you know what? Because I'm filming, it might look like something, but as you can see, look, once you get yourself into a rhythm, once you get those veins removed, you know, the rolling them up and then cutting them, that's like super easy. All right, so now you can see how it's supposed to look. You know what, these are gonna be your bite-sized pieces. And they clean, they nice and clean. You know what I mean, they already been cut. And just so you guys can see, there you go. Now, let's go ahead and get everything else prepared. All right, now we on the stove. Now you can see I got olive oil on my hand. You can use olive oil or you can use what I use. And if you guys been watching me for a minute, you know I like to use that bacon fat. That right there, we gonna use that to go ahead and you know soften up our onions. Now, add your diced onions to your pan. And listen, we are not gonna cook them that long. We just want them to soften up just a bit. Once they soft, we gonna go ahead and add our garlic. Now, remember we did our garlic, it's not minced, it's chopped. So I'm gonna show you, you know, about the sizes that I did. That right there, now look. Take a look. Remember, you don't want them to be fine. That's good right there. So just move it around. After about a minute, especially when you can start to smell it, it becomes fragrant, it lets you know that, hey, this dish got a little garlic in it. Then it's time to go ahead and add your chicken stock. That's your three cups of that. And then there's your pepper flakes. And then all we're gonna do is we wanna bring that to a boil. So just stir it around, you know, mix it up real good. And then you go ahead and add your, you know, your, uh, your meat. Now you guys can use turkey legs, necks, whatever you want, whatever you can find, just make sure whatever meat you use, I just suggested it, uh, that you guys use a smoked meat. Cause when you can see that color all the way down to that uh, bone and that opens up and releases that flavor in there, that's awesome. Now, check this out. You see this lid right here, you see those vents? Listen, if you turn those vents towards the pour spout, Listen, it'll release a lot of, a lot of your uh, steam in there, but we want to keep it all in there. So I will put a link down in the description box below. You know, if you guys are interested in getting one of those pots, I just suggest it. And, you know, it comes with that lid. Now, there you go. This is like about after about 30, about 35 minutes, you know, got it up to a boil. And then what I did was I just kind of like opened it up with that wooden spoon, you know, open the meat up a little bit. Now, go ahead and add your collards. Now, listen, if you, you don't have enough room for the first go around, Go ahead and just cook it down for about five to seven minutes. Listen, it's a leafy, uh, you know, a leafy collard. So listen, all this is really like mainly water. You can see that's really after five minutes right there. Then just go ahead and put the remainder in your pot. Once that's in there, put your lid on there and then we're gonna cook it for about 45 minutes. It says 45 to 60 minutes, but we're gonna go 45 minutes. Then we're gonna take a look at it. Boom, that's what it looks like. 
And then you know what? I was looking at the texture. Now nah, we need to go down. Some people might like theirs like this, but for me, I want it to be just a little softer, but still maintain that firmness. So I went ahead another went another 15 minutes. And after that 15 minutes, this is what we had right here. You guys look at that and tell me what you think. Hey, super easy. Hey, it's overwhelmingly delicious. Now, I just started opening up, you know, some of that meat, you know, getting that moved around and just taking a look at it. Hey, tell me what that say right there. Hey, happy holidays, everybody. This right here, I promise you, I think right here, when I tasted it, I thought it was just like, you know, actually perfect, you know, to my taste buds. Again, this is what we're working with. Now, when you say collard greens, I know everybody going to think about hot sauce. Uh, for myself, as I said, listen, it had a nice amount of uh, spiciness to it already, you know, which was perfect for my palate. You guys taste it and find out what you would like to do. And you can't say greens without saying, you know, cornbread. So there you have it, you guys, Southern collard greens. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy, huh? Not a whole lot of ingredients. You know what, it's so flavorful and so good. If you don't know nothing about, you know, like if you haven't been in the kitchen making these before, you're probably just thinking like it's a whole lot to make it. You know what, we just need a little time. We trust the process and this is it. Hey, and with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you one more time. Then I'm gonna get right up on it. I hope you guys can see that. Cause man, this is that fire right here. Okay, so I gotta hit it right now. And now I'm starting to seem like I'm starting to eat more and more on camera. But we finna go ahead and get us a little bit of this. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Hey, you guys gotta just trust me, especially if you new, try it this way. Okay, look, the only key is you wanna get it to where you like the texture to be. You don't wanna overcook it because you don't, I like mine to have a, just a little bit of texture to it. I don't wanna call it like a crunch, but it just got some, you know, it's nice and firm, but yet soft and you know, flavorful. So listen, try it. Let me know down in the comment section below, you know, what's your secret or what you do to your collars, but this right here. Hey, anyway, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. You know, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know how we finna wrap this up, folks. I'm out of here. Peace.